As we befriend ourselves, we also really have the opportunity to amplify self-compassion as well as compassion for other people. As the story in our own mind starts to shift as we recognize if somebody has certain kind of behaviors that indicate that they're in survival responses, then what they're really telling me is that they don't feel safe. So I might be able to respond in a different way than if I assumed something about that person rather than looking to say, okay, how might we help amplify safety for this person and thereby help shift story and help shift the behaviors that are happening. And of course, that's really dependent on the people that we're talking about, yet it can actually have an, an overarching theme of starting to look at solving some of our bigger social issues if we want certain things to shift, we might need to look at what creates underlying nervous system changes and the safety that then brings about the kind of mental capacity and resourcing and creativity that we want to see. So as a people, it's vital that we learn to navigate our own nervous systems and also learn to work with and help co-regulate with nervous systems around us. As we face great challenges as a society, we also really need to develop the capacity to feel stretched in our nervous systems. In essence, a healthy nervous system can also be resourced enough to encounter someone who looks, sounds, or identifies differently and maintain enough safety to be curious rather than threatened. We can thrive in our diversity when we have nervous systems that can meet difference and adapt to that difference and instead of perceiving difference just as cue of danger. We also need this elevated safety as a culture because we need to be able to come together in collaborative and creative ways to innovate and solve problems that we're gonna face as a humanity. And that requires us to be in this ventral vagal or to have access to a ventral vagal space and hopefully learn how to have working cultures that can recognize oh, this person has lost their sense of safety they're moving into survival responses let's create a working environment or a school environment that understands that when someone's moving out of that that now we have tools and ways to look at it so that we can bring about safety and help bring somebody back in to feeling socially engaged so that we can move forward in collaboration and creativity so that's my polyvagal theory in a nutshell, you can tell probably it's something I'm so passionate about. I love talking about it and I really love finding the fine tuned ways that we can help you or help individuals to apply it to their lives to help bring about the shifts and changes that they're looking for. Um, no matter what you might be moving with at this time in your life. And I love combining that with personally with somatic movement and some creative ways to access different parts of ourselves, to access safe parts of ourselves, to move with things. So if you're interested in learning more about that, you can follow a link in my YouTube profile to my website and get in contact with me there. And if you're curious to follow along here, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, you'll notice that I'm starting to share also some of my creative expression with dance and somatic movement to show you some of the ways that I like to move with these resources that are things that help me continually meet what's happening in my body and my life and the shifts and changes that, uh, that I meet. So thank you so much for following along today and it's lovely to connect with you and I'm always happy to talk polyvagal theory with you.